Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be highlighting two NFT projects that I've invested my funds into. Um, one is Sol Casino NFT and the other one is Sharky or Sharks. So, I'm just going to make sure that it's short and sweet as per your requests. And so, let's get right into it. The first project is Sol Casino NFT. So, this Casino NFT is... Um, when you buy it, there's three things that you can get. The first one is um, for a limited time, so it's only until May 2. That's going to be next month. Uh, if you have this NFT, you'd be able to claim 12 Solana. So for example, itong mga bears na nandito, uh, if you buy that for uh, within that time period, so from today until May 2, you will be able to lock your NFT and be able to claim 12 Solana. So the only catch here is that you're going to stake it into their protocol and once you claim that Solana, it's instant. It's going to be locked for a random number, 15 days, 30 days, uh, 45 days, 60 days, 75 days, and finally 90 days. So I've already staked mine um, in order to claim all the Solana because I want to have ROI. Uh, so that's the first utility. So the history, why that happened is this project uh, has been operating for a year and they've been quite profitable and then suddenly uh, nung nabuhay yung NFT space uh, nagkakaroon ng mga hype mints and then lumilipad yung mga projects they suddenly said okay we're gonna uh, start an NFT project and then it's gonna be for 12 Solana I think at that time it was around $300 if you wanna mint one so it was really hyped a lot of people were like asking for whitelist sobrang gulo <laughs> kasi wala din silang discord at that time and when they launched um, that well Solana, nung nag-launch sila mga 24, umabot ng mga 24 yan eh. Actually mga 30 plus, ganyan. Ayan o, kita nyo dito yung nag-launch siya. And what happened was, there was a 7.77% uh, 7 royalties imposed. So that means if you buy or sell this uh, NFT in the marketplace, you're gonna be incurring a additional tax, a royalty of 7.77%. So for example, here, I'm going to be buying um, a 25.44 uh, Solana na, na bear, which is the floor. I'm going to be ad uh, adding 7.77%, which is ano ba? Basa, ayan, 1.98 Solana additional. So instead of 25.44, it's going to be 27.8. Later, I'm going to be buying this and then claiming the Solana so that I can walk you through how the whole process works. Now, the second utility of this bear is if you're a gambler, if you like online casino and you like crypto, well, uh, very deadly combination. But this is something that might benefit you because um, this NFT can be used as a booster. So if you have an NFT, depending on the rarity of it, uh, you would have uh, what they call a rake back. So I'm not sure what this is because I don't gamble, but... Um, Basically, from my understanding, is that if you spend, let's say, a hundred thousand, and then you get like uh, a certain rarity, then you can get, let's say, for example, a five percent rate back, a ten percent, thirty-five up to twenty percent or thirty-five percent rate back. Which means that uh, if you spend a hundred thousand, and then let's say, for example, you got uh, the mythic or the, le the legendary NFT, then from that hundred thousand pesos na ginasto mo, meron kang twenty-five thousand na babalik sa so that's from my understanding. Um, so only for for I know for mahilig mag gamble, and they have a lot of uh, games. I'm gonna show you it to you later. Uh, so that's the other um, utility, which means if nanalo ka, then good for you. You got bonus rake back. If natalo ka, well, you got consolation prize. So parang win win nila for this situation. The third utility is that. Um, there's a revenue share. So for this, what happens is that uh, if you stake this bear, this NFT into their protocol, you are going to be receiving their um, native token, which if you stake that token, you're going to be earning USDC, which is a part of the revenue from the Solana Casino. And so I don't know how much they are making. They don't like show how much that is, but there's a lot of speculation going on. Um, hindi din namin alam yung numbers. I think it's gonna be released in the next two weeks. 
So basically what happens is kung konti lang yung mga nagsistake uh, nung tokens na yun, then talagang solo nila yung mga rewards na yun. How much the emission is or how much yung, you know, the details of that, I have no idea yet. I will, I'm still gonna learn that next week. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Ah, there's another one na utility that they have uh, released, which is their ano ba, lottery ticket. So for every NFT that you purchase and it's locked in the in their protocol, you're able to claim one lottery ticket um, for free per day. So kung may ka din magloto, then this one is for you, I guess. In dollars pa yung kita mo, di ba? So, ayan, sa mga may hilig magloto dyan, mag-gamble, I feel like mas marami kang chances of winning dito. Tapos free pa. Anyway, um, and it's worth $2 from what I understand. Okay, so we're gonna be buying. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Uh, you're gonna be needing, obviously, 25.44 Solana. Uh, plus the royalties, that's gonna be 27.8. Luckily, I have around 30 Solana in my wallet. So for you to be able to buy this, you're gonna need Solana. Um, one Solana is how much? One Solana is around $22.6. So if you're gonna have 27, uh, that's gonna cost you how much? 27.8. If I'm gonna be buying at the floor price, that's around 628.59 USD. Magkano ba yung peso ngayon? 55, 54, 27.8 times. Going, I think 55 to be uh, sure. Around 1,000. Sorry, sangle. Times 21 pa pala yan. Times. Uh, that's I'm a little Sorry, twenty two point eighty nine. Twenty two point twenty two point twenty eight. Okay. So that's thirty four thousand pesos ang isa. Hmm. Medyo mahal. Pero like if okay, sige ganito. Um, sa akin kasi I wanna get let's say the twelve solana. So basically, parang thirty four thousand pesos yung ginasto ko minus twelve solana. That's how much it's gonna cost me. So it's kind of like you bought the, the NFT, tapos meron ka pang bigay sa'yo, and then wait how many days uh, bago mo balik yung, yung NFT mo. You can sell that NFT if you want to, or you can stake it if you want to. You can use it uh, if you're a gambler again with the utilities that has been said. Um, yun. So, teka, check ka natin. So, ito yung, ano, yung announcement. I'm gonna send the uh, Discord invite as well so that you can check this out yourself. Uh, also, the Twitter. So better na you know always make sure that you click the right links para hindi kayo uh, magg in case kasi marami talaga mga scam. So the best practices is uh, only click links from trusted sources. So if it's not from their official Twitter or it's not like you know from someone you trust never click those links. So again, um, you're going to need Solana, you're going to need a Phantom wallet or let's say a wallet that can hold your Solana uh, for you to be able to do this. Uh, if wala pa kayong exchange, definitely you're gonna need one. I would recommend Binance. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's get right to it. How to do the whole thing. Uh, we're just gonna be buying this one. Uh, I'm using Tensor, but as of the moment, I won't be able to buy it from here. Uh, because parang nakita ni Magic Eden na competition nila si Tensor and they don't want that. They really want to have, you know, so like if even if I try signing this or buying from here, uh, it's not gonna push through. But uh, if I go directly here and click buy, it's gonna lead me to Magic Eden, which is the marketplace where you can list your bears. You can also list your NFTs here in Tensor. I recommend that you do it because especially if you're a trader, um, this is really better than Magic Eden. So anyways, here I'm connecting my wallet and then I'm gonna be buying it now. So that's gonna be 27.74. Solana. So here we go. Uh, gonna buy and approve. That's 27.70. So, yeah. So, guys, um, the Salt Casino Bear has already been bought for 27.70 something Solana. Now, where that is gonna go, it's gonna go here. If I go to my wallet, I usually use Magic Eden. Wala, mas gusto ko lang. Pero pwede ko din naman i check dito sa cell. Like, lalabas din dito sa, ano, sa Tensor. Ayan, so, andito na siya. This is my uh, bear. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is go to the Salt Casino um, website. 
So this is where I wanna um, ano bang gagawin ko? Ayan, teka. Ano ba to? Ayan. Okay, sige. So, kukonek ko lang tong wallet ko. So, it's, um, teka, wait lang. Lipat ko lang muna. So, this is their website. Hindi ko na-explore to except for the giveaways na meron uh, na ano yan, na binigay sa akin. But anyways, later, explore natin yan. Uh, I can connect here with my wallet. So, I'm gonna connect with my phantom. And then connect. Meron na akong account dito. Usually it just signs, uh, gives you a transaction where you sign. And then up to you if you wanna like rename that profile or something like that. But anyways, uh, the next step that you wanna do if ever you're going to uh, stake your NFT, lock your NFT for that 12, 12 Solana, is you go to the profile and then punta ka dito sa My NFTs. So from My NFTs, you want to deposit your um, bear your Sol Casino NFT. So wait lang. Uh, lipat ko lang ulit dun sa, ano, sa wallet ko. Asa ko siya binili. Dito. Alright. So refresh ko lang ulit to. Um, so yun. Tapos later, papakita ko sa inyo guys yung, ano, yung mga freebies nila. Especially yung parang every uh, Sol Casino NFT that you have, you get like a lucky uh, lotto number or something for $2. So it's every day na binibigyan ka ng ganun. Anyway, here, uh, I'm gonna deposit the um, Salt Casino NFT. So right now, ito yung problema niya. Uh, kailangan mo siyang i-load. Like, if hindi siya lalabas dito yung NFT mo, kailangan mo talaga siyang i- just click the load more. Medyo mabagal to, kasi, uh, especially kung marami kang NFTs, pero kung yun lang naman yung NFT mo, then pwede lang siya makita. Uh, you can deposit, I think, these NFTs kasi pwede mo rin siyang gamitin as a wager. <laughs> so, which I really don't recommend. There's a maximum of two uh, NFTs that you can deposit um, at a time. So, hindi pa multiple, it's only two NFTs at a time. So, if you have two Solana NFT, uh, Sol NFT Casino um, NFTs that you want to deposit into the protocol, you can do so. Um, but, ayun, since nakita na natin siya, the deposit na natin siya. And then, sign the transaction, click approve. And once it's there, Ayan, lalabas na yung deposit transaction and because it's Solana at sobrang bilis ng ating transactions, you can see it here in your portfolio agad na magre-reflect. Now, um, as you can see here, that's only two Solana left, right? So, pwede natin gawin, um, you select this, makita mo yung parang tatlong dots na yan, and then lock for 12 Solana. So, if you select this, okay, lalabas tong uh, prompt na to and then lock period varies from 15 days uh, to 90 days. So it's again, it's random. Hopefully 15 days lang para hindi tayo matagal na maghintay. Uh, Lalock na natin. Ayan, so 60 days yung nakuha natin. We have received 12 Solana uh, and then for like after 60 days after it gets unlocked, pwede na akong pumili if let's say event ako sa marketplace or if I stake that to earn the Sol Casino token which I can use for revenue share. So, ngayon, if I select locked, dito ko makikita lahat ng mga bears na nakalock. So, ayan. Medyo marami, and you can see that a lot of, or majority of the people who have these NFTs have locked their uh, Solana, uh, so, Sol Casino NFTs para, para sa 12 Solana na yun. And I feel like that is the most um, ideal thing to do because para kang nakakuha ng NFT for let's say what a 40 or like a 60% discount um sobrang swerte mo kung nagmint ka diba kasi ibig sabihin ROI ka na and then you don't have to like uh, do anything para kumbaga sit back and relax ka na lang diba so anyways now that it's locked um it's gonna show here uh yung Solana mo so if you wanna withdraw that back to your wallet you just click this deposit and then hanapin mo yung withdraw select crypto and then you can see your 12 solana over here so now i'm just gonna withdraw that and then uh yan kasi iba yung ginagamit ko dito this is kind of like the fund management wallet so since dito ko siya binili uh dito ko siya gustong i-deposit yung 12 solana so i'm just gonna confirm that and then click continue or confirm i'm just gonna hit max so let's see okay we begin tayo ng ganitong props we're gonna verify and then withdraw. So, meron konting fee. Very, very small amount lang. 
So once I click withdraw, uh, now I just have to wait. So pagka kinabahan kayo, bakit hindi pa siya dumarating? Uh, most likely other people are having withdrawals as well uh, with their crypto. That's why it takes time. But um, usually sobrang bilis lang naman yan. So you can also look he- uh, find here yung deposit withdrawal history and see kung ano yung um, for example, kung pending ba siya or is it already sent. So here you can see my past withdrawals for uh, Solana, meron ako mga binili dyan, and then ito yung mga um, we need draw ko ng mga amounts. Ayan, so I think I have around um, 28 I think 29 na kulang pa ako nisa, gusto kong gawing 30. But around 28 uh, Solana Casino NFTs that I have and lahat yun kinuha ko yung 12 Solana para araw ay agad ako. Agad ako. Ayan, so the next feature that I want to share to you guys is the lottery. So ito yung mga um, ano ba? Like every day kasi bibigyan kayo ng um, per NFT, you're going to be receiving one lottery ticket that you can use. So if I go here to buy ticket, ah wala na, wala na ba akong free? Ayun. <laughs> May sala na kasi dito like for example, if meron kang NFT na yon, ah uh, alipat tayo ng wallet. Or dumating na ba yung wallet natin? Or yung Solana? Okay, mukhang hindi pa. Pero usually, um, what happens is that you can go here. Ah, here, here. So here in rewards, you can claim your um, lotto ticket. And then if you claim that, ayan, one free lottery ticket for today. So you can then click here in buy and then use free lottery ticket. So this is worth $2. Um, you can manually select any yung mga numbers na gusto mo. So I don't, I don't really I don't really do this for me it's just such a hassle and yeah good luck to you guys who do manual select yung may mga lucky numbers diyan and stuff like that up to you guys if you want to do that but uh, for me you know auto generate ko na lang anyway it's free naman so from what i understand if for example you got a uh, winning um let's say ticket like this one pero ang napanalunan niyo lang is like two digits or uh, if it's like the minimum, like two dollars lang, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna be, um, ano ba? You're gonna win another free ticket. So, <laughs> kung nanalo ka two dollars, hindi mo pa di claim yon. You are just gonna win another ticket that you can use for more double draws. So that's it. And then makikita niyo lang naman dito sa my winnings kung lalabas yun o hindi. And then you can see like uh, ways to win and stuff like that. And you have the 100k winner, which is I think 100. Ito, ito yata yung price amount, 100,000 uh, USD. And of course, there's the results over here. Anyways, um, I think that's it for the Solana Casino. I'll check. Kung dumating na ba? Okay, mo hindi pa dumara, hindi pa dumating. Um, Usually, kasi pwedeng lumabas ka agad dito. Eh. Two, two Solana yung kanina eh. Now, ah yeah, the Solana is still there. So, hindi pa, hindi pa siya dumanating. So, the next thing that I want to be covering here is Sharky. So, Sharky, this is one of the NFT projects that I'm heavily invested into. Uh, let's go to Sharks. Yeah. So, Sharks, that's, here it is. So, ito yan, yung mga cute shark na to. Uh, oh, wala, nakasell pala ako. If I select buy, then lalabas yung mga NFTs dito. Ayan, so ito yung mga cute sharks na yan. There's like four levels of this. There's the level 1, 2, 3, and the level 4. So, syempre, the final form is kind of like, this is also a revenue share project, by the way. So, what this NFT does is, um, it shares with you if for example if you buy this nft and you pay royalties uh to this nft what happens is that every day you'd be able to claim uh solana and uh their token which is called sharks or sharky uh later makikita natin uh, but basically it's gonna give it's gonna give you a share of the revenue of their lending uh platform so how does that work Okay, um, here, this is uh, one of my, um, ano ba, nagpapautang ako ng Solana to whoever it is into the ecosystem. 
ang collateral nila is their NFTs. So for example, they want liquidity, for example, uh, UIS or itong Sinasol Casino. Uh, nagpapautang ako sa kanila, like ito 22.5 Solana, ito kay uh, UGI, mga 22 Solana. And um, within 7 days, they have to pay up with a 220% interest. So this is kind of like the interest that I'm gonna get, for example, for this UGI over here, uh, who na pinahiram ko ng 22 Solana, I'm gonna get a 0.49 uh, Solana interest back. So maraming mga pwedeng um, NFTs na pwede mong, let's say, you know, you wanna lend your Solana to. You can, let's say, for example, Mad Labs is one of the uh, trending NFTs now. And the best offer is at 71 Solana. Right now, the floor price is at 88 Solana. So if I wanna, um, let's say, for example, 72 Solana, right? And then for the next seven days, uh, ang interest niya na makukuha ko is 1.62 Solana. So, kaysa nakatinggalin yung Solana mo, di ba? Pero, there are risks involved here. If, for example, um, nag-default, or let's say bumagsak yung floor price nung NFT collection na yun, then, lugi ka. Kasi bumagsak yung, yung floor price eh. So, wala, negative ka. And then, nag-default. Hindi nila babayaran yung Solana mo. Wala kang na ring interest. Pero, nakuha mo yung NFT nila. Now, the same can be said, for example, if like, uh, for example, nang hiram siya ng 500 Solana or let's say 20 Solana and then hindi nila nabayaran and then yung floor price ng collection na yun, uh, umakyat. Let's say, uh, for example, here, meron akong pots. I think, offers. Check ko lang. Check ko lang dito. So I think, meron dito sa pods before, may nag-default dito eh. Mukhang wala. Hindi yata dito. Ande, ah, sige, ito na lang. For sure, yung Yutes. Ito, merong nag-default dito before eh. So, ito lahat kasi halos repaid eh. Teka lang. Okay. But, basically, ganito siya. Baka hindi ko kasi makita. Baka nandun sa kabilang wallet. Um, for example, I offered or I lent 140 Solana tapos hindi niya nabayaran yung Yutes niya or yung, sorry, yung Solana plus yung interest which is 3.325 What happens is that I will then have the option to acquire yung NFT niya so I have to manually collect it uh, Pwede ko rin hayaan doon yung, yung NFT na yun let's say I'm a, I'm a generous lender <laughs> and then I would like to you know give more time for this person to um, let's say get back his Solana para makuha niya yung NFT uh, pwede kong gawin yun pero again if I want to let's say claim uh, that NFT because nag default siya hindi siya makapagbayad then I am free to do so pagka nangyari yung default okay so after 7 days pag hindi niya nagawa yun I, I am able to do that na now what happens is paano kung let's say umakit yung floor price ng 180 edi eh, sobrang laki ng uh, kita mo dun ito currently it's at 139 so mababa na yung floor price ni, ni Utes at the moment. So, lugi ako. Pero, for example, ayan, 109, tapos hindi siya nagbayad. Tapos, um, pwede ko isell yung youths niya for 139. So, profits ko yun, di ba? So, instead of me getting interest, I get a higher return. So, the rule here with lending is always lend to projects that you want to be owning. So, don't lend to projects na kahit, for example, sobrang taas ng APY, pero ayaw mo naman. Or hindi mo naman gusto kung anong ginagawa nila. Basta nagpairam ka lang Solana. Paano kung biglang bumagsak yung floor price nung uh, collection na yun? Now you end up with a project that you don't want to own. Hindi italo ka doon, di ba? So, uh, ganun yung rule natin. So, um, what's next? Okay, check muna natin kung dumating. Okay, mukhang hindi pa dumating yung ating Solana. So, while waiting for our Solana, um, I'm just gonna go here to the main wallet where I do my loans. Um, here, I think I have 26 sharks. So basically, in yung protocol. Uh, now that's from a lender's perspective, you can also borrow um, against your NFT. So for example, you wanna uh, borrow certain Solana, right? Anibaw, may na OK Bear. The OK Bear floor price is around 68 yata, or 66. Uh, current floor price, 63. Okay, tapos I can borrow 58. May mga gusto mo po sa akin at this level. Then I can do so. Like, I can borrow 58 and then babayaran ko na lang siya uh, for, ayan, duration is 14 days with interest. So, um, 60, uh, ayan, 58 plus 2.78 1 Solana. Ganun 
kalaki yung iba, yung babayaran ko. Or around 60.781. So, nandito naman sa baba yung computation. So, just make sure na if you do this, and then let's say you get a rare NFT, make sure lang na yung uh, collateral mo is something na hindi ka ganun ka-attached. Mamaya kung sobrang attached ka dun sa NFT, tas hindi mo babayaran, sayang naman, di ba? Um, not really a good thing. But anyways, ayan, that's the whole platform. Um, the next thing is yung NFTs. So, here at the moment, meron akong ayan, 26 NFTs ng Sharky. So, here, the the price is around 13.29. That's kind of like the the current floor price plus royalties. How much is that gonna be ba? Ayan. With royalties, taka, ayan, you're gonna be paying 13.27. So, maliit lang yung babayaran mo at the moment. Hindi siya katulad nung um, Solana Casino na medyo malaki yung kanyang royalties. But anyway, sige. Um, the next thing that you wanna see is yung kanyang utility nitong sharks na to. So there's, again, four levels. There's the level 1, there's level 2, level 3, level 4. Now, um, I did the computations here and the best um, level that you can have is the level 2, especially kung nagsisimula ka pa lang. So what happens here is that every day, if let's say you have a level 2 shark, uh, here kasi dito sa level 1, wala kaya natang makukuha ng revenue share eh. Or meron ba? You know, no revenue share, but you get to uh, earn, as long as you hold it in your wallet, one fishy. So that's the name of the token. If you are an active lender or an active borrower that pays your yung mga utang mo, then you also get sharky points. So yung mga sharky points na yan, pwede mo yung convert yan into fishy. So, um, ayan. Anyways, the next thing is, eto na, kailangan nyo maintindihan is there, there are two things in play here. The revenue share point and then the, um, and the second one is the fishy token per day that you get. So, uh, the level 2 shark, ito yung pinakamalaking um, emission ng fishy token. So again, the fishy token is gonna be used To, number one na alam kong utility is you use it to upgrade your shark so for example you have a level 1 shark you want to upgrade it to level 2 you're gonna need to have fishy uh, for that you can buy fishy on the marketplace you can buy it in famous fox or you can actually buy it in um, Jupiter or uh, in orca so I'm gonna send the links um, and put it into the description para safe kayo if ever you want to buy those tokens so again um, if you have these NFTs you're gonna emit like for a level 2 you're gonna emit 11 fishy per day tapos meron kang 1 revenue share point now here pagka in-upgrade mo yan into level 3 which for example here um, I'm gonna have I will be required 1,619 fishy for me to be able to um, upgrade uh, my fish <laughs> my my shark NFT into a level 3 which gives me less fishy emission so from 11 to 3 na lang But I'm gonna get more revenue share points, which is 11 revenue share points. So here, um, level 2 fishy gives me 11 fishy per day plus one revenue share point. At level 3 fishy, I get three fishy per day plus 11 revenue share points. Now, um, at the moment, ang ginagawa kasi ng um, parang ang ginawa nila is that ano ba? Um, How do I so to explain it in a very simple way? If you have, um, let's say, there's um, a limited number of revenue share points. So, for example, only 100 revenue share points yung currently na sa market or na sa protocol. Iko compute ng buong system yan and then idi divide niya sa mga holders. So, depending on uh, the weight of revenue share points that you have, um, kung ano man yung let's say revenue share na mo na nandun sa pool, equally it's gonna be distributed to the revenue share holder point holders. Teka, medyo magulo. Sige, pero ganito na lang guys. Um, currently, I have around 66 revenue share points. So that is from uh, my 22 um, Sharky na level 2 and then also this four bull sharks that are here. Now, here's the projected soul. Uh, that I am going to be claiming. So this is not something that every, let's say every week or every day, but like it's only for a limited time. Kasi ang nangyari is, yung mga revenue na nakuha nila for the past months from their lending protocol, um, nag, 
nag ano yan, naipon siya for for a time. And then ngayon na parang ready na nilang i-deliver yung kanilang uh, revenue share, the rewarding holders who have let's say revenue share points um, you know, a part of the the fees that they collect. So currently merong 22.07 Solana that I would be able to claim. So ibig sabihin yan, uh, for every revenue share or rev share points that I have, uh, taka, divide natin yan para makita natin yung exact amount. So 22.07 divide natin by 66. Tama ba? Yeah. So every every point is worth 0.33 uh, 34 Solana. So if you want to get more Solana or um, anong tawag nito? Yeah, if you want to get more, then obviously you'll have to upgrade your sharks para mas malaki yung pwede mong uh, makuha na rewards or Solana. So syempre, other players are gonna be thinking the same thing na okay, I want to, let's say, upgrade my sharks to a higher level para syempre, kung mas mataas yung mas marami silang revenue share points, mas malaki yung nakukuha nilang piece of the pie sa revenue share. Okay, so um, the next thing is again yung fishy emission. So two things that you can do, you can either sell that or buy, uh, sell the fishy that you get from um, you know lending or using the protocol, or use that fishy to upgrade para mas malaki yung maklim mo. So right now, if I'm gonna go to, uh, I think it's in Orca. So in Orca, nataka ah, na sa browser. If I go here in Orca, this is the place where I can train Fishy. And so, lalabas na dito si Fishy. Uh, currently, let's say, if you have one Fishy, magkano ba yung one Fishy? One Fishy is 0 0.0029 Solana. Um, pwede din bird's eye. So here, this is another tool that I use for me to check ano ba yung presyo ng mga tokens or ng mga bagay-bagay. Um, here, I'm just gonna look for Fishy. There you go. So, ito siya. This is Fishy US Dollar. Uh, currently, it's at 0 0.0655. So, this is like you can buy Fishy here in this market. Or, what you can do is uh, ano ba? wait for your sharks to earn the Fishy token, and then from there, you can upgrade or either sell it into the market. So, um, Balik tayo dito sa protocol. Ayan. Sorry, ang dami kong tabs. <laughs> okay. So ngayon, I'm gonna claim my, all my rewards. What I'm gonna be able to claim though is only the fishy. Hindi ko pa makaklaim yung Solana at the moment. Kasi magkakaroon pa ng next snapshot. And then I think next week, yung magiging snapshot. And then dun ko na pwedeng i-claim yung Solana na to. So again, if other players will upgrade their sharks, and then they would have more um, rev share points. That means lesser uh, Solana that I would be able to claim. Unless, um, bibili ako ng mga sharks, tas i-upgrade ko, or I would level up my level 3 bull sharks, then mas malaki yung magiging claim ko. So again, ganun yung sistema na ginawa nila. So I'm gonna hit claim all rewards here. So lalabas dito yung prompts, and then confirm. So that's like, uh, ano ba? 285 and then it says here 31 fishy is what I got from lending my Solana. So just by lending your Solana, you also get fishy in return. Um, aside from you know the sharks that produce this uh, number of fishy. So yeah, 254 fishy a day at the moment. So if I wanna trade that, um, I just go here. Jupiter. Okay, confirm. So I can use that fishy and then sell it for US dollar. So 322, uh, 332, that's around 22 US dollar, 21 pagka training ko Or I can trade for Solana as well. Up to me. So, and guys, um, those are the things that I can do with this. So if you have, let's say, a massive amount, or let's say, for example, may Solana ka sa wallet mo, tapos gusto mo ipatubo uh, by interest. Then you can do so. You can just lend your Solana and then earn more Solana with your interest. But again, um, aralin niyo muna kung ano yung mga projects na gusto mong ipahiram yung Solana mo. Baka mamaya, like, mag-default yun. Tapos hindi mo pala gusto yung project, di ba? 
So, kailangan mo ring i-diversify yung mga loans or yung salano mo. So, ayun guys. Um, that's it. Uy, meron na naman akong 18. Baka mamaya may nagbayad ng utang nila. That's why nadagdagan yan. Kasi Sharky points eh. So, if I go here, um, I can check offers. And then see, baka mamaya may nagbayad ng utang. Meron ba? Wala naman yata. Okay. 7 hours ago pa naman yung last eh. But, yeah. Basically, that's it. I can pang hindi pa ito na-utilize. Later, uh, ayusin ko yan. But anyways, yun, uh, that's it for the two projects. Balikan natin yung Sol Casino, baka mamaya dumating na yung Solana natin doon, sa account na yun. So we go here to Overflow 2. Ayan na. So guys, dito na yung ating 12 Solana. Actually, hindi siya exact 12 eh, kasi may konting transaction fee. But here, I have 11.9997 Solana which I got for locking my Sol Casino NFT, which is here. So again, guys, um, hopefully this help, this is able to help you, I guess. <laughs> hopefully, um, yeah. Until the next session, guys. Bye.